In 1973, the U.S. Supreme Court legalized abortion nationwide. The decision is called Roe versus Wade, and those who defend it are known as robots. This is how they think. If you don't like abortion, then don't have one. Ironically, this is a concept the pro-life movement can enthusiastically support. All we ask is that the same offer be extended to the unborn. Given that every time a mom has an abortion, her baby also has one, it seems only fair that this child should be allowed to have the same option. Of course, we cannot ask unborn children whether they would like to have their legs torn off, their arms ripped from the sockets, their chest crushed, and their skulls split open. But since no born person would choose that for themselves, I think we can logically assume that the unborn wouldn't choose it either. So why would we give someone else the right to choose it for themselves? And that brings up an interesting question. Would all these people who call themselves pro-choice still be pro-choice if they were the ones being chosen? I mean, if it were possible to place them back into their mother's wombs and then interview them there, would they still have this arrogant, don't like abortion, don't have one attitude? Would they still be making this sort of moronic statement if they were the ones who might be butchered and then ground up in a garbage disposal and flushed down the city sewer system? My suspicion is that they wouldn't. <laughs>